Hi, this is Lucy, and welcome to another Fallout 76 Building 101 episode. I'm going to start this week with showing you how to build a specific type of camp, and the camp I'm doing today is my tiny house. Apologies that this video has been slightly delayed. There was a slight complication, which I'll show you what the complication is when we get to it. On a personal note, I have another mortgage. Um, I still haven't uh, completed on the transfer of my property to my name only, but I'm working on it, or the solicitors are allegedly, so we'll see. I'm trying not to get excited now, <laughs> just <laughs> expecting disappointment and endless, endless agony, so yeah. Um, Tiberius Shatner's doing well, he did have a post-operative infection and he keeps going back for checkups. Hopefully, touch wood, the last one will be tomorrow. I find it difficult to get him in the box to get him to the vet. He is rather tricky and um, I have fibromyalgia so chasing him is not really an option. Um, so I have to use cunning and trickery but he's getting wise to my, to my uh, cunning and trickery. So we'll see. Hopefully tomorrow will be the last one but I leave the box out all the time so that he doesn't get nervous when I get the box out. So the box is just sort of on the sofa. Um, and so, but I have to lure him in with food. But he he gets he gets kind of a bit nervous now when I start calling him for food or cat treats. I feel very guilty, but it has to be done. So hopefully tomorrow he'll get the all clear and. Um, yeah, he seems to be coping well. They haven't actually taken all his teeth. They've, they've left him his fangs, so he can still go around and bite other cats. So, <laughs> But he's he's doing okay. If you want to see a photo of him, there's one on my Twitter feed. So, Right, building. Today we are going to build our tiny house, and I'm going to build the one that I blueprinted and put down at the start of this video series. Just going to use these wooden floors to start with. It doesn't matter which foundation you use. Including the porch, the whole build is one wide. And four long. I like to have all my foundations going the same direction because if you put wooden floorboards down then they all go in the same direction. I'm going to use this set which was the set that I used for the tiny house I built. You can do it with other walls. I would suggest you only do it one with ones with windows which is the blue set, the red barn and the warehouse pieces. Can have a window there. I'm actually going to put two half walls here. Um, it's for, for decoration. I'll show you why when we get there. Going to put a window there. And a wall here. Now I'm not going to put the door on until I've put the ladder on because you can't get the floor on if the wall is there. Obviously we're going up in a sort of slope so we need to raise the height of this wall right I'm gonna put my ladder in I can turn it around Quite often I just put the base ladder in and then change it up 
I'm using the replace function if I want a different ladder. We need one floor, upper floor tile. As previously stated, upper floor tiles will only snap to ladders. We can now put our door in. Obviously you can put the windows wherever you want. Um, I normally do this with that but you can put more windows in if you want or a single window. Right now we have to put the roof on. All of the roofs are these sloped ones. Oops. <laughs> Don't fall off your ladder. I'm not going to put this last piece of roof on and that's because there's a fireplace. The roof will go over the fire but you can't put the fire over the roof so I leave that to the end. Same with putting doors on. I pretty much always put a door on fairly late in my builds because it means if I'm running around doing things I don't have to stop and open a door and the door isn't in the way. Especially in a build this small. Now here comes the, the, the problem I had. When I used this in my um, Building 101 video, I had it blueprinted. But the blueprint is no longer available. And I think it's because, with one of the patches recently, they've actually reduced the budget of blueprints. A blueprint basically, um, I have quite a few, is if you hold down A while selecting something, left shoulder button, you can see the whole thing has gone white. Although now I've let go you have to reselect that one piece. So the whole thing is white and you can create a blueprint. Now, you can also see, oh, interesting, there we go, the blue print, print budget on the top right. This very small structure is actually using two thirds of the blueprint budget. And what I have found is once I've decorated this, it's too big for the blueprint budget. So I think that's why I now can't place my... Um, existing blueprint because it's just too big. So I ummed and uh, about what to do and I kind of have come up with a solution and I will show you once I've finished building this. I'm going to use pillars on the corners here so I'm going to use a half floor as a snap point for the pillars. Now if you do manage to successfully blueprint this be aware because these pillars are in, an in an illegal place they will just store them. You could just put the pillars in the regular places and that would be fine might put a third one on. So that one would come out in the blueprint. Going to change these floors up. I don't I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. Quite like that. 
but it might be a bit too much blue in here so I think I'm just going to go for the light wood. Press X, replace, and it will replace it with the, the last one you chose. I'm going to put a rug down before I put my fire down. All of the rugs will go in here, although sometimes it's a bit of a tight squeeze. I'm going to put the fire here in this corner. I can put the roof on now. Try and put the roof on. There we go. Going to change the floor upstairs. I'm going to put wallpaper up, and the wallpaper I'm going to use is this blue and white stripe. I like this, it sort of looks French to me, but I'm English, so what do I know about French decor? And the reason that I left this one, I'll show you in a minute when I've finished, why I used two half walls, was I like to do a tiled splashback in the kitchen. There we go. The way I realised when I, I have built a few of these and I and blueprinted them and I will show you the way I um, got around because this is supposed to be a quick camp. The way I got around it was to blueprint groups of furniture. So here is a kitchen. Need to try and make sure it's straight. It's easier with the lines going this way on the floor. Although you have to assume that I lined it up correctly when I say when I blueprinted it. There we go. Perfect. And I'm actually going to do something different that I haven't blueprinted for the um, sofa area, the seating area. Um, chairs. I thought I'd put one of these in. Which way to do it? You need to make sure that you have enough space around your furniture to actually get round. There we go. And I have another blueprint that will go in this corner here. to make sure it's the right way around. So my little dresser unit all dressed up with candles and plants. Okay. Table and chairs. I'm just gonna use this one. Need to make sure you've got enough space to get around to the ladder, around the ladder. Put 
don't think that's straight. <laughs> Make sure that when you're deleting stuff you select the correct item. If I'd deleted the floor it would have caused problems. Okay, get around there. Oops. Yep. Did actually fancy going for a bit of a nautical theme today. I haven't used the ship in a bottle yet. I got it from this year's, sorry, this month season, whatever. Um, legendary run, although they're not calling it that now, are they? They're calling it the scoreboard. some paintings on the wall. Get this one. I like to put a bench in. You can't actually put things directly under stairs but you can put stuff either side I like this bench I have got a couple of bedroom sets saved but they're for different ones so I'm going to do something slightly different here. If I can find the rug I want. I must admit it's getting to, to me to the stage where I'm struggling to find stuff. I think Bethesda need to um, maybe rejig the um, menu system in this. I'm going to use this bed. I believe this bed is available from Pendleton. box in here if I can fit one. As you can see from that Scarlet doesn't have all the plans yet. I was trying to get a plan the other day and um, you look it up and it says it's you know at a responder vendor but for some reason even though I'm level 52 now it's not available. Maybe put that one on top as well. Bedside table. Maybe this one. I do like these, they are a little bit deep, so if you want something smaller, just use a smaller table. Get it straight. Bedside lamp. I mean, obviously, I didn't blueprint this bedroom, but you can blueprint them, and I'll show you on another tiny house in a minute. To show you how quick and easy this can be. It's starting to get a little bit dark. Um, I need to put some more lights up and a generator. I don't think I can get this one in here. No. I have had some success with um, spotlights in here. You 
you can usually um, get away with just using one conduit to light the whole building, possibly two in some circumstances. Maybe put one of these down here. There is not a lot of room. It can be tricky. But you should be able to get the lighting in your blueprint. Now power. I had been putting my generator outside but I have noticed that it is the first thing that enemies attack. So I came up with the idea of doing a little generator shelf here. Um, Unfortunately, it will. I have managed to blueprint it, but I can't get it to go down. Even if I put a conduit there for it to clip onto, it just will not go down. So what I've been doing is I've just been building it. I've been putting a mat on it. Um, because I saw Final Render do this in one of his videos, but I can't get the generator to sit on the conduits. This would be a lot quicker if I could find stuff more easily. It is a bit tricky. Generally find if I get it to about the, there and place it, and then get a bit closer. It's going to be a pain today. There we go. Plunk my generator on that. It also helps stop you from falling down the stairs. <laughs> you could obviously probably, you could probably stack more than one on here. Again, place it down. I find it is easier and then move it. If you want to put your generator on the outside, that's fine. As I said, it's just I, I did notice that everything attacked here just attacked my generator. You could even maybe put it on the roof. But the roof is sloped, so... There we go, all the lights are lit. You can obviously add a little bit more decoration if you want to titify it. Um, you want, might want to add stairs. I tend to, when I'm blueprinting, take stairs off because I mean it, it may just be a historical problem. But I did find um, in the past that um, and the doors all the way around. I did find in the past that it was difficult to place things down if the stairs were on them. Be aware that some of the doors, some of the metal doors, um, will open. If they're opening inwards, they'll open the other way. They'll open to the left, and in that case, you can't actually get into your tiny house unless you swap the kitchen side and the dining side around. As it's getting dark, I will be back in the morning, I think. What time is it in the game? Half past eight in the evening. So I'll be back at, I'll be back soon. So I'm back. It's another beautiful morning which amazes me because usually when I log back in after letting my server go idle there's a rad storm the next morning or it's um, very very wet. But yep, we've had two nice mornings in a row. I am expecting to get attacked by either dogs or mutants. So 
So I am going to quickly stick a turret down. So here we have our tiny house. As I said, if you want to add more decoration, feel free. I just don't want this video to be really long. It doesn't often take me long to build. I spend ta a lot of time decorating. <laughs> so, but I was going to show you. Just checking. <laughs> you know I'm going to get get bitten by a dog as soon as I go into build mode. I was going to show you some other tiny houses that I'd blueprinted, and how to quickly decorate them. can't find my red one. Here it is. Right, you'll notice on this one that it's got a wall on the end and there is a reason for this. And that is my trusty flamer trap. You can't blueprint it when the wall is broken. It takes two seconds to do that. When you flame a trap a wooden wall you get two struts. When you flame a trap a barn wall you get three. I use the CD shed door on this. As you can see it's mostly decorated. It's got a few bits and pieces in here. This is my yeah, Symphony in Red. <laughs> I kind of wanted to go for a vintage retro theme for this one, so um, I haven't got the fire in actually. Oh, it may be because it's part of the blueprint. Let's have a look. Nope, it's just not there. Okay, that's fine. some reason this blueprint will not go down. I knew this was going too well. <laughs> right, let's put the kitchen in. Be aware that when you use blueprints it doesn't use an object that's stored in your stored section, it actually rebuilds everything. So get used to scrapping stuff and going through more budget. I'm going to put the fire down. I am wondering whether the, with the chair blueprint I am... Um, they were too close to the wall. Yeah, that's green. So I think what's happened here is that... It's just slightly too close to the wall. Maybe that these chairs have quite a large collision. Objects have like a bounding box, a collision box around them. Um, so, and it varies from object to object. We will put in our I have 
too many too many blueprints it's certainly going to make decorating a lot easier doing this um, remember if I used that one in here or not. Oh no, this is the one for here. Yeah, this is kind of a vintage looking home. And that's not straight. <laughs> We will try again. Sometimes something will look straight from one angle and not from another. Could have done with that being a little bit further down but I can live with that. Bedroom. and see what these are. Okay, this is the one for the red room. Interestingly, um, these are lighting up, I assume, because of um, the ju they're close enough to the PowerPoint on the other tiny house. As I said, I did blueprint my little generator, but it will not. It won't go on unless it's sort of on the floor. I thought about adding a... power connector here try and snap it to it which was how I built it but it'll probably work now just to spite me yeah it says cannot place item needs support moving it back a little bit Even on the flat, oh, even on the flat, oh it will go now apparently on there. Yeah, it won't even snap on here. Never mind. So we will leave that, but it's up to you. You can just plonk a generator outside if you wish. I'm going to put down another bucket of tulips. Yeah, I don't know what happened with the budget for blueprints. Um, it seems, considering the size of this place, that blueprint just does not seem, the budget doesn't seem big enough to me. But, here we go. So now you have your symphony in red. And the last one using... warehouse pieces um. try to make this a bit scrappier 
I'm not. I I struggle with Scrappy because I'm a bit of a neat freak. I think. <laughs> The door I wanted to put on here, which was um, this one, actually opens the wrong way. I, I assumed that all doors opened the same way, but they don't. I used the kind of plyboard interior and the white tile for this. I did use the Mothman red wooden upstairs for the bedroom area. This is the bedroom for this one. I put the bed a different way on this one. Made a headboard out of boxes. For this one, I didn't use um, I didn't use the fire. through the ceiling. I use this little black stove. You used to be able to glitch a um, lantern t into this but because they changed the collision collisions you can't anymore. But what I have found, if you do want this to look like it's a l lit up, is you can, and believe me I went through every light, you can put these in the back wall of it if you open the door and crouch to make it look, I used an O to make it look like an element but it was so, it didn't really light up properly but what I found is you can stick one of these lights on the back of it it's quite flat and because the um, it has a chimney at the back it doesn't really extend the profile particularly Kitchen in. Obviously, I'm trying to do this very quickly. So This is for kind of, you know, this is the sort of cabin I imagine Gramps living in. That's why it's got one recliner or one chair. <laughs> There's a bit of a mismatch of everything, so. I'll we'll put this table in chair. I put some bookshelves up here. You could decorate these shelves if you want, but when you blueprint, them, the items appear on the top. So I put these boxes on the top, but if you wanted to use the um, ground glitch to put things in, you could just put items on top of the boxes would be a quick way of doing it. Um, just to show you what the fire looks like lit up. We'll just stick a generator down. We'll just put it here for now.
it is quite a white light it's a shame there isn't a but I have tried all of the um all of the lights and that was the only one I could actually get to work but it gives it gives it a certain something Obviously, if you want to add more clutter, decorate to your heart's content. And there we have it. Three tiny houses. I think for the channel next time, I've already built my... Um, Halloween camp. Um, I'm really happy with it and um, I could have done a tour last week but I thought it was a little bit early. I'm convinced that Bethesda are going to drop Halloween stuff just before Halloween but I will try and do it in the next week or two and if they do drop something um, that I absolutely can't live without then um, I might do an update. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to do any more Nora's Kitchen. They haven't been very popular. I might try doing a couple of Nora's Pharmacy, how to make stim packs, uh, Psycho, Radaway, um, show you how easy that is. Although, to be honest, with stim packs and Radaway, I'm finding that I have lots and lots and lots. Um, because we have human NPCs, if you kill blood eagles, if you, I don't know if you know this, but if you kill blood eagles or human NPCs, they quite often drop stim packs. I have a building arc that I'm in pr probably about 75% of the way through, so I'm going to finish that and do a tour of that. I'm still undecided about primitive. I might do it. <laughs> I think I probably will. Having seen a few um, of Aaron's builds in Prim, I think they are a lot better. Um, and I think I'd like to try it. I think it would give me give make the game last longer in a way. The problem with teleporters is it makes it very easy to get across the map. I'm still on Ragnarok. Um, I have started a locally hosted game on Crystal Isles because I'd like to explore that. But time, I guess. So... We'll see. Um, and I will be back on Scarlet with another build in a couple of weeks. Something a bit different, hopefully. Um, so, thank you for watching. That's all from me today. <laughs>